I'm Kylie Olsen and welcome to the Lowdown for the Download Festival 2010. Now I'm with a man backstage with a man who's taking a little break from his day job with the Foo Fighters to work on his solo project, Taylor Hawkins. Hello, how, how, how are, are you? Good, how are you doing? Yeah, very good. How, how does it feel to be at Download, such a heritage site as I'm Donington? I'm telling you, yeah, I know. It's, uh, well, I was uh, telling you earlier, I was a little confused because I know it used to be Donington. Was it Monsters of Rock at one time? It was, yeah. So this is the third version, but uh, oh, it's great. It's like the big, the big heavy rock one. It's the big daddy, isn't yeah, there's it? There's no, there's not going to be any pink here or anything like that. It's all, it's all like hard, hard stuff. Yeah, exactly. So, so how does it feel to be here with your new band? It's great. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, no, I'm stoked. It should be fun. And you know, we don't usually um, get a drummer that has a good set of pipes on him. How does it feel to be the front man? Well, I mean, I've kind of was able to bypass being the front man by sitting behind the drums still. So really, I mean, I guess you could consider me the front man since I'm the one providing the lead vocals, but I still have my safe little world behind my drums. It's kind of a strange little setup, but it, people li you know, like it, you know, it's, yeah. it's a different kind of thing, you know. So, so can you tell me a little bit about the album? Because you've worked with some great guys on it. I mean, is, is it like a one of your all-time things that you wanted to work on? Because you, you, it's lots of reflection back to the classics, I think. Well, yeah, I mean, it kind of became that... It, it, it's actually the second record, but it's the first yeah. record to come out in the UK. Um, and it, you know, I've, yeah, I had some great guests on there, Brian May from Queen and Roger Taylor from Queen, and, and Dave actually played some... Dave Grohl played a little bit of rhythm guitar and helped me put some of the songs together. And, yeah, I mean, it, it's become this thing to where people go it's like this sort of like me looking back at like all my favorite sort of I guess what you would call classic rock or old 70s early 80s sort of rock stuff yeah. it wasn't meant to be that way it just sort of came out that way and, and kind of became this little almost like a time capsule like memories of of, of, of things of, the, of all the rock music that I loved growing up so yeah That's pretty cool so um You've been a busy boy, obviously. You've been doing your solo work. You've got some new Foo stuff coming out as well. I mean, you're going to start on that as well. Well, it's just, yeah, it's in the pipeline, you know. When's we're, it going to kick off? Tell us, tell us. Well, I, don't, I, I couldn't say for certain because we haven't, we've yet to like really get in there and get serious making mm. the record, but we've definitely sort of opened up the, uh, you know, treasure chest of ideas and, and done a little bit of demoing and we're going to go back and do some more demoing pretty soon and you know try and start getting serious about making another Foo Fighter record. Brilliant. It's about time, you know. We 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 took a couple of years off and we've all had our fun, you know, in our uh in our side projects or whatever and now now you know I, it's time to get the family back together, you know. I can't wait. Now, um what's it like working with Dave because obviously he's a drummer, you're a drummer. Two drummers in the Foo Fighters. What's the dynamics of the band? Um, you know, there's not really, I don't know if it would be that any different than even any other songwriter, you know. I yeah. mean, obviously Dave can articulate a little bit more accurately what he wants to hear drum-wise than maybe, say, a lead singer who doesn't play drums, but, or a songwriter who doesn't play drums. But I think in, in any case, when someone's the chief songwriter, which Dave is in our band, that, you know, all they a singer, a, a songwriter always kind of has a vision of how they want things to be. So in a way, it's not really that different probably than say, you know, another band where the singer just, you know, tells you what he wants, but he can kind of articulate it more. And, you know, we kind of work together on it, you know. It's, you know, my role is supportive in the Foo Fighters. My role is to make the music, the songs good and, you know, to be the the bedrock make the songs good and sort of make comfortable for Dave to do his thing you know yeah sure now you, you've um, as, as we said you've been working on some side projects you've also worked with Slash on his new album I with mean Isaac. I really didn't really work with Slash you did I got, something though I, I, it, we, I, the, that came about because uh, the producer uh, Valentine Eric Valentine um, had we had just done a little work with the Foo Fighters which actually has never seen the light of day we did a one one cover song yeah. and he produced it and when we did that I had done some of the background vocals on it and um, he liked my background vocals like he liked my voice for background vocals so when he was doing the Slash record he called me up and he said you want to come in and, and do, do this song with Ozzy 
so I imagine going down there and there's like Slash with his bottle of whiskey and Ozzy over in the corner and it wasn't like that. I went down there and it was just Eric and he had, the song was basically done and I just you know spent about three hours in the studio just putting some background vocals on some stuff. Not well, quite sure how much of it's on, really on there. I know my name's on there, but I, I've listened a couple times. You were like, oh, oh, is that me? Is that me? That's me. Yeah, exactly. Um, now, we've um, we've lost some key players in rock recently, like Ronnie James uh, and Paul Gray. I mean, Paul it's Gray? been... Uh, for, um, from Slipknot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, of course, yeah. I mean, was Ronnie, Ronnie a big influence Oh, on yeah, you? I love Ronnie. And, I, yeah, he was one of the greatest, greatest hard rock singers of all time no question mm. and a really sweet man actually he really was a Did nice man you get man. to meet him yeah, w- yeah he his main rehearsal place where he rehearsed is a place called Mates in North Hollywood in in, in, in Los Angeles and that's where we've always rehearsed and where I where I did where the coattail writers rehearse and just a great little rehearsal place and that's where Ronnie always rehearsed and so countless times I was there when Ronnie was there either with you know his own band or with, with Sabbath and, doing the heaven and hell stuff and and i got to sit and talk to him you know one time we sat down and talked for like 45 minutes and he told me all these great old stories and he was such a gentleman you know and, and like a really any and, and and he could st- you know to the day he died he could sing his ass off yeah he really could and i miss him and i'll miss hearing him and you know i i was lucky enough to see heaven and hell i was lucky enough to see dio solo before and I just yeah he's that's a great great loss very really lucky is. to have seen him uh, yeah. And, yeah and to have known him, him yeah. known him a little bit you know yeah, and that's amazing um now Taylor we are asking everyone that comes on the show if uh, they could empty their pockets for a competition prize if there's anything in your pocket that you would want to give away to um as a competition prize basically Okay. <laughs> You're like, ooh, what have I got in my pockets? Here's a backstage pass to download. Yes. There you go. Wowzers. Check there you that go. out. There you go. Taylor you Hawkins. can hang with the stars. Courtesy of Taylor Hawkins. There you go. That's my present to whoever gets it. But you'll probably run the contest after download, huh? Well, yeah, maybe, but I reckon we So, sh- oh, forget it. Bad <laughs> idea. Oh, well, sorry. That's all I got. No, they want it. They want it. All right. We'll do it yeah. Then. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Well, listen, I hope it goes well today. I'm sure you'll be fine. You've done this thing plenty of times before. (laughs) 